I tyrannically forced through a war with um, Carthage, by the way. So I have a lot of tyranny right now, but I am at war with them. They're definitely getting kicked out of Iberia, unless I might have one problem with taking one of these settlements that's further away. I don't know how it's going to work yet, because it's... I don't border it. What's the issue? And it's not technically bordering the sea. So I don't know if I can actually take it. I had trouble with that last war, so that, that might rear its ugly head again. Also, can I fabricate a claim on Carth Carthago? Yeah, go ahead. I, just, I don't own it. <laughs> Why? Do you want to take that? I mean, if you're going to be at war with them, then yeah. Carthage is still no pushover land-wise. They have big armies. I'm only fighting them in Iberia, and I, they can't even get to me without using their navy because um, I, I block off the passage. So most of their troops don't even take part in these wars. Most of their troops are still in their homelands. Well, you can always just give it a shot and see what happens. I'm surprised you're not just going to focus on Gaul entirely till you get the unification. I mean, the money would definitely be nice, and also... You get some cool. buffs when you upgrade to, like, a, a higher tier country, though. Yeah. I mean, oh, I, I mean, I'm just fabricating clam. I'm not going to join in this war, but uh, maybe at different date I will. Yeah, I am going to have that problem. It needs to be adjacent to my land or adjacent to something already in the treaty, or it needs to be coastal. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Okay, I can have that one liberated, so that shouldn't be a problem. I couldn't before, but I can now. So, for whatever that's worth. Oh, long live the queen, she died. So I can do everything else here, and that should be everything they have in Iberia, yes? And it just has to be them, right? Their allies don't count, right? Carthage has no territory or subjects in mainland regions of these places. Territory or subjects. And that hasn't become their subject, right? No, it's an ally. They don't have any subjects at all. So I could end this right here, right now already. Okay. Four aggressive expansions, not bad. Let's try it. Okay, yeah, I can complete this. And then this gives me a bunch of money for the next... Whew, 20 years or something like that. So let's do that. All countries that neighbor us or are our subjects will gain opinion of us or we will gain claims on all territory, all territory in Hispania that neighbors us or is our subjects. Okay, I'll take claims. I could use those later. I don't care if they hate me. I'm powerful. So we have undermine allies, influence Carthaginian subjects and allies. Okay, so we would want to do that, but we can also do this, neuter Carthage. Gains Carthage weakened, which gives us a reduction in pirate fleet maintenance and morale of navies. Uh, some popularity. Okay, so that's done. Carthage has lost Hispania, Sicilia, and Sardinia. Our people flock to the arena to watch the Roman underdogs overpowering Numidian cavalry and toppling elephant towers. The Senate is not satisfied. Word of Punic vengeance from the determined merchants who fought over Sicilia for hundreds of years. Okay. So now we have to wait till we're not at a truce with Carthage to go any further. So let's just undermine their allies for now. But that's, 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 that's everything. That's all I need to do, essentially. Well, Carthage is kicked out of Iberia, um, completely. Very nice. Ooh, this costs a lot of money. Um, perils of Punic are long. Oh, okay, I see. I can't, I don't want to pay that much for that, but thankfully, Narfi made this event more affordable by sending me a bunch of money. Thanks, Narfi, when you eventually watch this. I'm going to keep the Magnagration unit here, because it's just this perfect stopgap, stopping them from actually crossing into Iberia, no matter what I do next. And what will I do next? Well, the main thing I want to do next, realistically, is eventually, like, I'll be going to war with them, with Carthage, or they'll become my tributary. In five years, when the truce runs out, they'll be my tributary or I will be at war with them. One of these two things will happen. Fighting from the West may not be the easiest or smartest thing though, but I do need to be prepared for war even then. They are still my main focus, so I guess I kind of need to just stay somewhere around them. I guess I'll prepare myself for like a mad dash into this part of Carthage, should it come down to that? That seems to be the smartest thing I could do. I don't know. 
I won't have too much problem actually fighting them. I have ass loads of troops. My main legion and my magnagration legion, so everything from mainland Italy, can probably do this by themselves. I don't really see many forts around here either. Yeah, there's like no forts on this western part. Where is their first fort anyway? I have to look for the visuals of it. Alright, here's one. And, okay, here's another. There are some, there are some, but there's not many. Everything's very bottlenecked here. Everything I have here should be more than enough, theoretically. Go ahead and build a fort in some of this land we just took. Wow, there's a lot of good resources here. Jesus Christ. Iberia could definitely use some cities eventually, but it's, it's too new and my hold here is too spread out for me to necessarily care to invest too much into it at the moment. My money is doing better, but I can likely, yeah, expand my legions a gigantic fucking amount. Jesus Christ. Soon, Magnagration Legion will be worth splitting into multiple parts. Because my Italian Legion is so large, it's worth a lot of what my other legions are worth while being split into multiple parts. Maintaining these gigantic legions is becoming more and more expensive, but a massive land force is just something I will end up needing eventually. So I do have to keep going this way, one way or another. Of course, I'm prioritizing everything that's over here in the west anyway. I'll get to roll the dice in a few years to see if Carthage becomes my tributary or goes to war with me. What do you think they'll pick in their current state? Um, I feel like they'll probably still go to war with you. Maybe. They're still pretty powerful, but they have lost one or two things in their mainland area as well. They don't really have an army of subjects anymore. They might very well just become my tributary. I don't know. I don't know. But if they want to fight, the thing is like you still, I'll kill them. Well, I mean, like you said, they still have the land to do it and, well, the army. Well, the land force and just the wealth they still have. Yeah, yeah, that they do. I'm ready to go to war with them if that's what they want. Again, my aggressive expansion will be down to zero by that point, and I won't need to pay to start that war or anything. My manpower maximum is 174k. Holy fuck, dude. Mine's 21k, which, hey, that ain't bad. Ooh, wow, you're, you're getting close to, you're really finishing up that whole northern part of Gaul. All right. Yeah. Oh, he's winning I mean, his revolt. Big defense. Yeah, he's pushed them back. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something, but you must okay. promise that you do not verbally do anything with this this information. Is it scary information? Am I gonna like it? You're not gonna like it, but it's not scary. <laughs> it's not scary. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess just, yeah. Before we started playing today, while you were still coming here, Shibi and me were talking, and he said, that once he finishes Britannia, he specifically plans to go into Gaul. Uh, okay, and that matches what Narfi told me. Oh, Narfi told you this? Yeah. Oh, but, okay. But he said you would help him do it. Oh, no, that Narfi wasn't even here when Shibi told me about this. Oh. Alright, well, I'm... Honestly, in that case, that gives me all the things I need to go on the offense. <laughs> well, not on the offense, but but be ready to beat his ass. Yeah, I, when he told me, I was talking about it earlier in my recording, and I was like, I don't know if he'll actually do it. Saying it and doing it is two different things for him based on his play style, which is why I don't know if I should mention it or not mention it, but I feel like it's it's better content at this point to mention it. I think we're at a funny situation yeah. there. Yeah, I, I, I want him to do it. I want to test out the forces of the brave Gauls and see how much he I can get can't pass. win current. Like, he's even with all his stuff reclaimed, if he takes all of Britannia by that point, he'll be half of your size. He, there's no way he can do it. But he didn't plan on attacking you, he planned on simply landing in Gaul. Uh, the thing is, right now, you're kind of beating him to that capability because of his revolt. I don't know, maybe you'll still go into the Netherlands. Maybe. But you already told him, nowhere but Scandia, right? Yeah. And honestly, I'll probably still go back on that, honestly, because I just want to fight. At, at this point, 
like he's he's slowed down enough by his own like management of his country and then narfi so like we're not gonna have any pvp today clearly because she'd be fucked up and he's in no position to go to gaul like he said he would narfi hasn't declared a single fucking war today but is instead befriending like everybody around him and guaranteeing certain individuals like he, he is avoiding pvp like the plague while sin while trying to turn you against me while shibi plans to start some sort of pvp shenanigans but can't take care of his country well enough to actually make such a thing happen yeah. two more years so i can test carthage I, I i honestly feel like he is going to try to land in germany well, you'll have to deal with that. Oh. Yeah. Because if you're expanding through Germany anyway, I mean, those are some quick conquests. Especially if you're in Bellicose. Be a blitz creep for it. Yeah. You're growing quickly. And if you keep doing this, he's not going to stand any chance when you get here. If you want to actually get him out of the game, all you need then is a navy large enough to get across the channel there. Yeah, I'm building up a fleet right now. Or hiring a pirate oh. fleet. Oh, yeah, that too. I, I mean, yeah, if, if he tries to go for Gaul, I'm going to take shit from the British Isles. That's just how, how it goes. Or he can be become my vassal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. I'm going to play some more grand theaters down here in southern Italy. Ooh, they're expensive to place. I was thinking I'll fill up this whole one province with them, but... Because I, I got a new metropolis here recently. I just got rid of the aqueducts, so it's a little overpopulated. Figured I'd put some stuff there, because it's a good place to do some conversions and get some loyalty, things like that. Grand Theater's just like a really nice building. Very expensive, but in my opinion, really nice. I'm swapping between building cities, building up cities, building metropolis, and other settlement buildings on and off. And, of course, roads while I develop my country. Right now, Iberia is completely void of roads. But right now, it's also not the most important thing to me. Because this place is also far from anybody's reach or harm. I don't have much interest in developing it too much. Maybe as far as placing down cities. But still, not even anytime soon. I have a bunch of free province investments. I could build up Rome even more as my major capital with some... I don't know, some more population capacity? I don't have enough money to build things up, so just raw pops would be good, and there are so many cities here to begin with. It may not be smart to put all my eggs in one basket like that, of course, but... I mean, right now, it's not having any problems, not with food, not with anything. It's not even full outside of the cities. The cities are full because they're very attractive destinations. But if we could fit more in Rome itself, I'm sure that could only be good. This is the home, isn't it? Let's go ahead and... At least spend one there. You can only spend like one at a time anyhow. Uh, Civil War is almost over. Are you finally going to finish off those guys to the south after that? Yeah, that's why I hired 11,000 mercs. <laughs> nice. How long did the war last? 12 years? <laughs> yeah, just about. I think about four. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been about 12 years. Oh, oh I thought you meant since the revolution started. Yeah, it, it started in like 600 or somewhere around there. I'm gonna put more province upgrades, more population upgrades in Latium. Might as well. I got a bunch of these just sitting around. And build a couple mines around to get some resources. Not very many, but there's a couple that have popped up. Oh boy, yeah. And I still barely started building farming settlements. Look at everywhere I could build farms. There's never enough money to build things in this game, honestly. Well, Hibernia is back on the scoreboard, and he's number six. Yay. You two are collectively four, five, and six. You three. Yay. I'm amazed Thrace has gotten ahead of Narfi. Hmm, interesting. And that's with Narfi having like 80 stability, so that's quite impressive. <laughs> uh, it's getting close to the moment of truth. The truce will be out at the, just after the beginning of this upcoming year. We'll see if they become a tributary. They choose to fight. My aggressive expansion's almost down to zero, so I'm up for some big conquests if they say no. Well, I can actually afford a navy, that's nice. Humble Beginnings, your first 20 ship navy. Yay. You know the best part? I can- I could have enforced peace on your revolt, like, easily, but I have absolutely no idea how that works. I think it would just force you guys into, like, a white peace and you would have lost, like, almost everything in your country. 
<laughs> oh, fuck, really? I have no idea how it works, but I do know I could have enforced it. On them, not you. Yeah, if they deny you, you have to declare war on them. Yeah, I would join Shibi, basically. But they it said they would accept. I don't know what that would have done, though. Well, let's try it next time. Huh. <laughs> Carthage is at war with Zaba, trying to retake them, certainly. I am willing to bet. Not Latabishia is willing to be guaranteed by me. Now that my aggressive expansion isn't super high, I might be able to do some more guarantees. Oh, that got me some tyranny, though, because I still don't have the approval of the Senate. But I can theoretically start getting some more guarantees going. Oh, I can also start some integrations, although this is still going to add more tyranny, so I might want to wait on that. But I can get some more guarantees up soon, now that everyone likes me, kind of, and then hopefully get some more subjects, which I can then integrate. I think we're at the time, soon, this month, debt of Carthage. There it is. All right. Ultimatum presented. Become my tributary or go to war. They're probably going to pick war, realistically, but we can still try it. Today is the year. In September, look at whether or not I'm at war with Carthage, or if Carthage is my tributary. So what we betting on? I'm betting on war. <laughs> I don't expect yeah, the AI I to think... make it easy for me. Yeah, I'm also betting war. If they choose war, I'm just gonna blast right in over uh, from Iberia and just charge their entire west heading towards must say Cilia, pretty much. If so, I might try to join in too. Which, my aggressive expansion is going to go through the roof with this, but fuck it. I want all those punics. Hey, you did it! You got your country back! Woo! Yay! 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 Arte! Oh my god, wait, you allied Nementia? God, that's a big one. I'm curious if, uh, Yeah, they, they have so much fucking military, they're just... If that happens the same way as the, uh, the previous one did. When Chibi got into the Civil Wars, he never got out. Yeah. <laughs> I, he never won one really by himself, so I was really curious how that was gonna go. For research, I'm going into some military buffs now, some army morale recovery right now, leading to another 5% discipline, plus city sieges generating some military tradition as well, because that's been going up slowly, haven't really been focusing that, uh, so we still haven't gotten the barbarian tradition groups unlocked. I mean, unlocking these are honestly so pointless, I've learned, because it's just so hard to get the experience, at least for me. If you're fighting with levies all the time, then I guess it's not as hard. But for the way I'm playing, it's actually pretty difficult. I hope that Nemedia is not sitting on anything you need for Gaul. Oh, it is. Uh oh, you're gonna have to kill him then. And they're they're pretty beefy. 87, 87 settlements. Yeah, but the thing is, um, a lot of their troops keep getting keep. I'm using them pretty much in these wars, and that's weakening them. That's okay. weakening them pretty well. So, it's time for the moment of Someone truth. Someone else pause? Yes. Alright. Okay. The I moment of truth. I can give them an offer to become a tributary. If they refuse, I will gain claims on the province of Carthago, which I actually already have. I got that from an event a long time ago. Or, I can send them an offer they will never accept. I get claims on the province of Carthago anyway, and then declare war. But I'm gonna give them a chance. I'm gonna give them a chance. Yeah, give them a chance. Let's see what they say. They are becoming a tributary. Damn. Uh, Carthage is likely to revolt in the future. When they do or if they otherwise break the agreement, we will be able to intervene. So the matter's not done yet, but for now, in their current form, they have agreed to become a tributary. Well, hot damn. Oh, there goes all my trade routes. Oh, <laughs> you could probably get them back. It probably just was because of the, their change of status. Well, okay. Uh, for now, the matter of Carthage is solved. They, uh, they lost Massacilia in the process, so they're cut in half, but, um, yeah. Carthage is my vassal for now. They might break it later, but for now, they're my vassal. Well, good shit. That should be nice for you. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Um, I don't know who to go for next. It's not going to be mission-driven, because basically, to go beyond this, I need to keep Carthage as a subject for at least 10 years. If I can pull this off, 
then I can make them a client state. And if I can make them a client state, I could eventually maybe even annex them. But that's a 10-year process, and I don't really know how that's going to go. Narfi's still not really leaving any openings or anything. And he's actively trying to make it so that if I go into Thrace, I have to go through him. Thrace, but Thrace is at war right now and is very likely to soon ascend to great power status. So I'm not too concerned. I mean, hey, you can always start, you know, preparing for nerfing. I still have 10 years of a potentially rebellious Carthage to deal with. But, um... Fair enough. I, I did get some free claims all around Iberia, so I could go for some of the Iberians. Yeah. Oh, they already stopped being a tributary. <laughs> that was, uh, that was quick. Oh, they, they've stopped. And I've gotten a claim. Okay, well, that, uh, that was quick. They've lost all their allies and everything, though. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I have to kill have to Carthage. Alright. Well, that small amount of tribute was nice, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? Hopefully I can join you at some point. Oh boy, Carthage, you just couldn't make it easy, could you? Let's try to forge a claim on Tingitania, which is what we actually border. I don't know how we're going to do a war declaration at the moment because... Like, that was instantaneous. We don't have claims on anything except Carthago and then this random thing over here. Going for Carthago itself would be rough. I could wait another year for the more opportune time to declare war. Their navy's nothing compared to mine. I could just try to land my forces over there by basing out of Sicily at first and just hold the line in the east. I could do that and mainly just go for Carthago itself. Even then, I don't have a lot of claims with which to work with one way or another. By the time I could set something like that up, conquering this place wouldn't be too hard. There's no fortress here. Taking it would be nice and quick. Carthage itself, that would be a hell of a siege, but I do have claims on it. So it is something that I could do. If I send my main stack there, that's like a 50k stack. I don't think they could really chase that out. That would be the hope, right? Well, it's a 40 something k stack, but still that's a big stack. I think that would go fairly well. I might do that. I might send my main massive stack in there. Let's put them back together again. Like Humpty Dumpty. We'll sail over there and we'll work with the little claims we have. We'll kind of go from west and east. So one front is bound to succeed, I guess. We could always pull reinforcements from Greece, but I guess we're primarily going for specific things right now. I technically have more troops in Iberia with what I'm doing right now, but I don't know. I don't really know how to approach this war. It's better to go for the things I have claimed for and get getting Carthago it could definitely be pretty good. Oh yeah, there's also, now that the Senate approves of me, some integrations that I can start doing. I also need to improve relations with some more of my vassals in the meantime. Oh, that Abishu is willing to become my tribal vassal, like literally just right now. Just for nothing, pretty much. Certainly helps that they like me so much, I guess. Yeah, they barely are willing to do that. Well, then let's go ahead and make them a tribal vassal. Gotta use my diplomacy while I have the ability to use diplomacy, huh? Thrace stopped with one settlement missing to become a great power. Still just slightly small enough to be guaranteed by the Seleucids. Absolutely retarded. Oh, but they're integrating the Bosparan Kingdom. That will grow them. So Thrace ended their war with 499 settlements, one short of becoming a great power, but they're integrating the Bosparan Kingdom, 94 settlements. So they're about to be a great power. He's not gonna be able to guarantee them for too much longer. Thrace? Yeah. Ooh, right. And I'm just preparing to dive bomb Carthage a little bit more, I guess, since they're so uncooperative. Narfi's been keeping his Stability extremely high. 80% plus right now. Seems to be taking my strategy then. It's pretty crazy. And he hasn't fought anyone fair. all day today. If I was him, I would also want a pretty stable realm if I was in this weak of, of a position. He's not even in a weak position. He's getting himself... Like, he's one of the strongest nations on the map, you know? His caution yeah. is making a weird situation for himself, but... Yeah, I don't know. 
I keep wanting to go attack Carthage, but I plan on landing troops, right? But th there's just non-stop fucking storms in between me and there, and I don't want to sail my entire fleet out into a storm. Isn't that what happened in real life? Like, all, all the Roman navies just kept getting fucked over by storms? Yes. History does repeat itself after all. Not this day. This day we sail! The skies have cleared! To war! Oh, right, right now? Right now, yeah. Oh shit, alright, well damn, alright, hold on. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm literally about to naval invade Carthage itself. Because that's one of the only things I have claims on. Alright. Actually, that's the only thing I have claims on that I can reach. Their whole so navy's taking, here. Like, so you're going to be taking, like, Carthago and all that? That is where I'm going. That's the only place I have that I can secure a war goal anytime soon. Damn, I gotta try to find some other place to invade then. Because I really just want Punic Pop. Yeah, me too. Considering they're one of the only things I integrated. <laughs> Actually, there's quite a few in Libya, so I can take that. Why do you specifically want Punic, by the way? Well, I would like any pop that actually opens up the, the the military tech tree or whatever a little bit, like uh, what's it called traditions. I think they're called. Yeah, is is that something you can unlock via barbarian? Is the Punic tree? Well, just uh, any culture I inter integrate that isn't barbarian, I can get their. Traits. Well, no, because you it's like. It's like a tree. You have to go from one to another. So let me take a look. Celtic can unlock Italic. And uh, I assume you also have Britannic can unlock North African. Okay, Numidian or Punic is what those are. So you can go for Numidian as well for that. Otherwise, it's Italic. But of course, that's all stuff on me. <laughs> Where, where is the Numidians? You know, good fucking question. Ah, uh, yeah, it's it's like it's all this other stuff surrounding Carthage. It's like Massilian, Massacilian, all that shit. Okay. Marian. So Marian? you can have Car Carthage proper, like you know, all of the uh, Gaul, of, well, Africa. So they called that in the regions, and Libya, and I can have the Numidia province. I don't really care about the Numidians themselves, to be honest. I'm sure we could figure out a trade. I just want to kill Carthage and get some Punics. I want to make right. Carthage not a threat and do whatever it is I have to do here. I'm fighting them. I'm going to kick some ass. That's basically how it's going to go. I also just finished integrating something. I think it was this little spot. Yes, it was. It was this little spot. I'm going to get rid of that fort. We don't need that fort there. Um, I'm thinking of moving you down to do this siege, and you can run around doing other things. We just need to accumulate war score. I just realized when I win the Siege of Carthage, their entire navy is going to pop out and have to fight my navy. The whole fucking navy. Oof. This is the- this is the rematch. And they still have 68 ships, I mean, they're still not complete pushover. Yeah, they don't look like they've been funding that navy for a while. Um, actually, wait, what? Never mind, yeah. They, yeah, they don't look like they've been funding that navy, but it is recovering. It's gonna recover in time to recover from my siege, uh, certainly, but... I see your fucking navy sailing around. Just look at things. I'm amazed you filled up your tradition trees. Alright, I had Carthago taken, so here comes the fight. Here comes the naval fight. They weren't ready for it. They were not ready for it. Yeah, they, they were not ready for this at all. I haven't lost a single ship. And they have a much better- they have a tactic to counter me, too. Oh, now I'm losing ships. Oh, God. <laughs> Bro. My whole front line I, just I died. I have more of a military tech level than them. Oh, shit. That's a rip. My, I won the fight, but my whole front line just fucking died. They were doing more damage. I was capturing some of their ships, and the front line just fucking died out of nowhere. I can rebuild a navy no problem, though. But, uh, I, I just need them to preferably die. I have another battle with them. Okay, I killed their entire navy. It's gone. I lost some of my own ships, but I killed their entire navy. Jesus. 